Okay, so this is um, a question that you're going to get at uh, GCSE Maths, um, but you'll actually start getting these sorts of questions around about year seven, so the beginning of high school. Um, and this is find an expression for the nth term of a series of numbers. And all they mean by that is that any number, they want to know what that number is, providing you know where that number is in the sequence, so it might be the 25th term, or the 357th term, or the 5th term, it doesn't really matter what it is, and they want to know how that number would be calculated. And there's a couple of steps that you need to look at. You'll normally be given the first few numbers of the sequence, and the first thing to look at is the difference between each of the numbers. Now, the difference between 1 and 5 is add 4, the difference between 5 and 9 is add 4, the difference between 9 and 13 is add 4, and 13 and 17 is add 4. Okay, now at this sort of level you're always going to get the uh, same difference between each of the terms. It will always be the same, it won't be any difference. And the formula that, uh, to work out the nth term is we need to find out the difference and we also need to find out the zero term, as it's called. This is the first one, so I'm just going to use a slightly different colour pen. And this is the first term, which is this one here. So that's your first, that's your second, that's your third, that's your fourth, and that's your fifth. Okay. So, in order to find out this expression we're looking for, part of finding out the expression is to work out the zero term. Now, the zero term is the same difference back for, and it's at that point. Okay, so I'm going to go backwards, so the difference between 5 and 1 is take away 4, the difference between 9 and 5 is take away 4, there's 4 difference, so the difference between 1 and um, take away 4 is minus 3. So the zero term for this expression, or this series, is minus 3. And then in order to write the expression in terms of n, we're looking at the nth term equals the difference, which we know is 4, multiplied by n plus the zero term. Okay, so we can write out our uh, expression now for the value of the nth term as the difference which is 4 multiplied by n, we don't know what n is going to be because it's going to be this, this term, minus 3, which is the zero term. Okay, so we'll just tie that up a little bit, and we've got an expression which is 4n minus 3. So the nth term is 4n minus 3. So we're just going to check that. Let's say that in order to check it, I just want to make sure I've got the correct uh, words there, so I'm going to look for the expression of the third term. Well, the third term we know is 9. Okay. So that will be 4 times 9, uh, sorry, 4 times 3, which is the value of n, multiplied by 3. Well, 4 times 3 is 12, multiplied by 3, and 12 multiplied by 3 is 9. So the third term is 9. Um, I'll just do that one again, okay? <laughs> and I'm going to look for uh, just a confirmation that the fifth term is 17. So I'm going to use the same formula again as uh, 4n minus 3, and I'm going to look for the value of the fifth term, which we know is 17. But the fifth term will be uh, 4 times 5, which is the value of n, minus 3, which is 20, minus 3, which equals 17. So the fifth term equals 17. Okay, now let's say now that I want to work out the uh, 20th term. So I'm going to go along here, and the value of the 20th term will be 4 
times 20 minus 3. So 4 times 20 is 80 minus 3. So the value of the 20th term will be 77. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can work out any value that I want okay, using this formula. So that's how to work out the formula for the nth term for arithmetic sequences. Um, it's around about a grade C question. It's probably worth about um, maybe two marks, something like that. Um, I hope that's helpful. There is a formula that you can use. It's exactly the same as this, and they just use slightly different numbers, but it means exactly the same thing. Um, and that's how to do it.